from biologists. In this session, we're going to take a look at the human brain. As you can see from this spec point, we only need to know five parts of the brain and what they do. So here are those five parts. The first one is called the cerebrum. And in the cerebrum, this controls the voluntary actions such as learning, memory, personality and conscious thought. So the bits here in the red box, they're the only parts of the brain that you need to know here for the biology specification. Now the cerebrum, that's the main part of the grey matter. That's the main bulk of the grey matter that we need to be aware of. The next part is the cerebellum, which is like this yellow cloud object just positioned at the bottom of the brain. And this controls unconscious functions such as posture, balance and non-voluntary movement. The next one is the medulla oblongata. And this one is using the autonomic control. For example, controlling your heart rate and breathing rate. The pituitary gland is situated in the middle, just underneath, and this one is involved with regulating a lot of hormones. Some examples of those are FSH, LH and GH. And the last one we need to be aware of is the hypothalamus, and this is a regulatory centre. So it controls temperature and it also contr controls blood water potential. So those are the five parts of the brain and what they do. Uh, here's an exam question on that, an example of what you might be asked. So if you want to pause the video and have a go before we go through it. Most of the exam questions I see on the brain are multiple choice, where you get given an example like this and you have to identify which part of the brain it correlates to. So heart rate, this is controlled by the medulla oblongata. Cycling a bike, this is to do with the cere cerebellum or the cerebrum. This is because the cerebellum is controlling, is involved with balance and the cerebrum is involved with memory and you need both of those to ride a bike. The release of FSH is the pituitary gland and blood, blood water levels is in the hypothalamus. So make sure you know those bits in red from the mark scheme from that image there and make sure you know what each part of the brain does, each one of these five functions. If this video has helped, please share and like and also subscribe. Guys, good luck with your exams. All the best.